and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting night of American Pro Wrestling. My name is Jackie Knight. I am your ring announcer. The first match of the evening has a 10-minute time limit. From Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 230 pounds, George South. And his opponent, weighing 230 pounds, from Dallas, Texas, Terry. First match of the evening, getting set to square off here. George South gonna take on Terry Austin, the longtime veteran. George South, been in this great sport of ours for going on 20 years, I know of. Dan Paris, what do you know about George South? George South is a rough, tough veteran. Most of his career, he has been jeered and, and uh, reviled as one of the most hated men in the Carolinas. But yeah, most it, of his it, career, he's held championship belts too, Dan Paris. Don't leave that out. Absolutely, without a doubt, he's held a lot of regional independent Carolina titles and uh, a former NWA veteran as well. And here we go, getting set for the second tie-up. Tie George South, Terry Austin, South into the side headlock. The referee is Jamie Tucker. Here we go, backs him into the ropes, shoves him off, off the far rope. Hard shoulder smash by George South. South goes up and over, leapfrog by Austin. Up and over goes South. Another leapfrog. Kicks him with a hard, hard hip toss. Nice drop kick by Austin. And George South finding himself in trouble here with an arm bar and twist. Seems to me like Terry Austin already resorted to some illegal tactics. George South is a highly skilled athlete. I don't see Terry Austin taking command this way unless something untoward is going on in that ring. South going to the eyes, then to the throat. Don't turn your back on George South. I tell you what, this guy can do more damage with your eyes turned than anybody else I know. Sunset flip. You don't turn South your back catches on him with a closed fist. You don't turn your back on anybody in that ring, Chance Williams. You turn your back for one second and that's it. Yeah, especially you, James McCone. You Here we go, down. Irish whip across, off the far rope, ducks the clothesline, nice cross body, referee down for the count, and we got two. I'll tell you what, Dan Paris, I thought that was gonna be an upset, or would it be? Very, very close call. I'll tell you what, these two guys have collided before, and both men have held victories over each other. So, uh, no, not an upset at all. But Chance, since the last time we saw terrible Terry Austin, this man has had, a, had an attitude change, and uh, now all of a sudden he's wanting all the crowd support he can get, which is highly unusual in his case, but regardless, any way you slice it, he's successful. Well, you can't take anything away from Terry Austin, Dan Paris. He, he's a good athlete. He's been around. He's held his share of championships, too, on the local level. He's a good athlete. This will be a great match here. South with a hair pull. Backs him into that turnbuckle. A big headbutt shot on the break. He's got to the count of five to break the hold, and uh, George South decided not to, which don't surprise us, does it, Dan Paris? Not one bit. He's known to stretch the rules, and sometimes if you stretch him real far, they'll snap. George South with a belly to back suplex. And Terry Austin in trouble. And you know, Terry Austin, he's been around for what, 10 or 12 years himself? At least 10, and I'll tell you one thing. The man is, uh, he looks a little older than what he is, but, but he's only in his mid-30s and a, a tremendous athlete. George South, right back to the eyes. You know, it's good, Chance Williams, to have a good reliable hold like that you can go to in times of distress. Oh yeah, that's just great. Double arm underhook. I tell you what, the thing that surprises me about George South is, is he, he'll use the illegal tactics. That's what I don't understand, James McCone. Why, why do you have to do that? You use what you want to use in a ring. The name of the game is winning, Chance Williams. The name of the game is win, win, win. However you got to do it, just do it. Well, me and Dan don't agree with that, and I'm sure the fans here at ringside don't either. And look at Austin. He's going for 10. 
he's ignoring that. Straightens the leg, ducks the clothesline, turns around, boot to the midsection. Austin for the ride, reverse, and nobody home. In the corner hard, and George South rolls him up. He's got a one, he's got a three count. Yeah, and he's got South the feet on the victory. ropes. George South with his feet on the ropes with a three count. What a great win for George South on American Pro Wrestling. What a great win. Stole another one here, right here in American Pro Wrestling. It's George South with his hands raised high. The referee, Jamie Tucker, did not see it, and Austin's complaining, and I don't blame him. I don't know what you're talking about. George South with a clean win. George South off to a great start in American Pro Wrestling. George South, after 20 years, has been cheating Dan Paris, so I don't guess it's going to change no time soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Black Jack Dalton. Black Jack, it looks like you've got a little something to say. I ain't got much to say, but I'm gonna tell you what, that little chicken neck back there in the back row, you Billy Ray Cyrus looking rascal, don't you ever say another word to me. Now, bad company, you know you pissed me off. But Black Jack's the seven digit man now and I'm living life at large and living good, baby. I've got women knocking my door down wanting a piece of Black Jack Dalton. As a matter of fact, I had to fight them off when I came in here tonight. Now, here in the APW, Black Jack Dalton's here for one reason, and that's to make everybody else's life miserable. I'm here for belts. I'm here to take it out on everybody and whoop everybody's ass around here. And I'll start with you rednecks out here if you want me to. Well, Black Jacket, uh, sounds like you got a big agenda, starting with everybody from Jay Eagle all the way to Twisted Sister and Bad Company. Let me tell you something. The money and the honeys are with Black Jack now, baby. For Black Jack Dalton and APW, I'm the fabulous Playboy. Hi, I'm Rhonda with American Pro Wrestling, and I'd like to invite everyone to come out to Shamrock Cafe and Arena at 7 o'clock Friday nights for exciting wrestling and fine dining, too. We're located just off of Lake Bowen outside of Spartanburg County. Remember, every Friday night, 7 p.m. Come on out and see us. Wrestling fans, this is Eagles Nest. I'm Chief Jay Eagle, and he's not. I'm here today with George South, a dirty, dusterly dude. George, tell us what you're in American Pro Wrestling for. You know something, Mr. Chief Jay Eagle? Everybody that's had a stinking television set within the last 20 years know what this face looks like. And anybody that has stepped in that stinking ring, good or bad, win or lose, I put my heart and soul in to this sport, Chief J. Eagle. Well, let me jump in there, George. I'll give you credit for that, brother. I will say one thing. We had some hard battles through the years, and I do realize the harder I chopped you, the more you liked it, so I just chopped you harder, brother. Do you feel someday we make it tear down the ring again? You know something, Eagle? As we look here tonight, we have noticed you've got just a little older, but gorgeous George South has only got younger with age, brother. As you just said, probably the hardest I've ever been chopped in my life, Chief J. Eagle was by you and that old crow, Chief Wahoo McDaniels. Now, wait a minute. Don't jump on Wahoo McDaniels. He's in the building. He can cover for himself, George South. And let me tell you one thing. Me and Wahoo may be, have a few miles on us, brother, but the older we get, the meaner we get. Like I said, my very best friend, Chief Wahoo McDaniels, is going to be here just so all these fans can see that he realizes what gorgeous George South is all about, Chief J. Well, I'll say one thing, George. You definitely are still a talker after all these years. Friends, that's it th this week from the Eagle's Nest. I'll be back next week. I'm Jay Eagle, and he's not. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States heavyweight champion, 
weighing 280 pounds from Asheville, North Carolina, Rough Rusty Riddle with his valet, Tanya Terrific. And from San Francisco, weighing 245 pounds, this is Twisted Sister. Welcome back to American Pro Wrestling. The U.S. champion, Rusty Riddle, is going to take on Twisted Sister. And let me say something about the fan favorite here, known as Twisted Sister. This guy right here has pretty much come out and admitted this whole act of his is nothing but to throw off his opponent, to make him wonder what he's getting into when he steps into the ring with Twisted Sister. So Twisted Sister is not all what he looks like. Well, I've been looking forward to this match. Rusty Riddle's a big, strong man, and I've been looking for somebody just to beat the daylights out of Twisted Sister. And Rusty Riddle's the United States champion. He takes nothing from anybody, and he's going to beat Twisted Sister's brains out right here on American Pro Wrestling. Well, you know, you can't help but like Twisted Sister. The guy's a strange individual indeed, and I've even got uh, a little kiss from him. But, you know, Twisted Sister, he might be strange, but he can flat wrestle. And look at that high drop kick. Must have been six feet in the air. Nice arm drag takeover. Rusty Riddle back up to a vertical base. Scoop slam. Hard clothesline, and Rusty Riddle finds himself looking up at the lights. I can't help but like him. Do you know he once assaulted me right in this very building, tried to put lipstick on me? Do you have any idea how humiliating that was for me, Chance Williams? Well, I, I agree. Don't like I don't like it either, but hey, sometimes Rusty. you got to deal with it. That's just pro wrestling. It's the right damn parish. That's exactly right, and Rusty Riddle changing the momentum of this match. He's trying to slow down Twisted Sister, but uh, Chance, one thing about Twisted Sister is kind of like a magician. A magician never reveals his tricks. So Twisted Sister's not revealing his tricks. He's just going to keep you guessing. I think we know what kind of tricks he's up to, Dan Paris. Yeah, he'll keep you guessing, and that's for sure. Look at him now. What a test of strength by Rusty Riddle. I don't know if this is smart. And what about Rusty Riddle's new valet, Tanya Terrific? You know, she come up on the scene a couple of weeks, and I guess he's took her on as a valet. Well, you know, when you're a big, strong man, and you've got the gold, and you've got the money like Rusty Riddle does, you, you kind of attract the women, Chance Williams. I'm, I'm sure you two wouldn't know much about that, but that's what happens. You've got the money and the size and the strength and the gold like Rusty Riddle does. Nice rushing le leg sweep by Rusty Riddle. Going for the cover, referee down for the count, and we got a close three. Two and three quarters. I tell you what, Rusty Riddle got things going his way, and that's why he's the United States Heavyweight Champion here in American Pro Wrestling. And look at Twisted Sister Dan going down low. That's what I tried to tell you. He resorts to these tactics. That's all he can do. That the kind of rule-breaking tactics and playing his little games. That's what Twisted Sister's M.O. is. Rusty Riddle's out wrestling the man. He's out classing him, and Twisted Sister goes to the low blows. And he puts a kiss on him. Well, Chance, he probably hit that low blow to equalize the uh, size differential, if you will. You approve of that, Dan Paris? Not a bit. All right, then. Rusty Riddle over to wipe the lipstick off, and trust me, fans, I've felt that before. We don't need to get into that, Chance Williams. Let's get back to the match. Yeah, I Rusty just walked Riddle. off the interview set, so let's straighten that up real quick like. Rusty Riddle's regrouping, entering back into the ring again. I don't want to leave no question marks in anybody's mind about me or Twisted Sister. Twisted Sister. It's Trying to lock up with Rusty Riddle, and here we go. Time collar and elbow back into the turnbuckle. The referee needs to break this up. He needs to get him back. But then this is Jamie Tucker we're talking about, not a real referee. And Twisted Sister with some strange, strange moves here. I don't know how to call that, but he better the best I can. He better watch out to Jamie Tucker. He might like that. Well, Chance, he's just playing psychological warfare. Hard elbow. You notice how when Rusty Riddle turns it on, he just takes right over on this man. He took him over at the beginning, and he's taking over again. Well, I got to agree with you on that, James. I'll tell you something. Rusty Riddle's no guy you play around with. You better beat him if you got the chance to do it. Ha! Backdrop. And Twisted Sister must have been 10 feet in the air. That's the big man, Rusty Riddle. What does he weigh in, uh, Dan? About 265, probably? Rusty Riddle's at least 290 pounds. About six foot five. He's long and just big. Tanya Terrific up on the side of the ring, distracting the referee. Twisted Sister got the cover, got Jamie, the three count. Jamie Tucker trying to ask for a date here instead of calling the match. Twisted Sister trying to get him back in. And a low blow, and that's, that's, that's what, what you, you get. get. 
Turnabout is fair play. Is that not what I've heard Because the foul eight, Todd, is terrific. He had DDT. DDT. A twist his sister. The referee got his back turned. Here comes Rusty Riddle. Great finds the leg. And we got three. I love it. I love it. A win for Riddle. Referee calling for the bail. And I tell you what. You're talking about an up-and-coming star, Rusty Riddle. This guy right here. Gentlemen, I've got business to attend to. I'll see you momentarily. And Rusty champ Riddle, the current United States Heavyweight Champion, Dan, it looks like for a long, long time. Successful. He's held it for a long, long time. Rough and tough and mean and on a winning streak. And chance when we return, Wahoo McDaniel will be joining you along with Jeff G. Bailey. APW Wrestling fans, we are here with Backstreet Sunny Stone. That's right. Backstreet Sunny Stone is in the house. And I've got one more thing I gotta take care of. That's that Shane Austin. I tell you, I'm tired of this man come and burn me in my back, hit me in my back with trophies. So I tell you what, Shane Austin, if you're in this building, if you can kick my ass tonight, you're gonna win this belt right here. But if I kick your ass, you're going home, boy. You done. You finished. Are you here, Shane Austin? Oh, what is this? Well, Backstreet, you know, it looks like Shane Austin's acquired himself some, some wheels here. And this is a man also that you have to look after. His partner from the, from the Beach Blondes, Mickey Richards. Shane Austin, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. The other night I was at Ryan's and some fat woman threw a piece of chicken, chicken, chicken pie pie in my eye. And then I fell and I hurt my back and I can't. And you get chicken pie pie and you're like, wait a minute. I can't do it, sonny. My back, my back, sir. I can't do it. I got chicken pie pie in my eye. You know, this has got to be the first time I've ever heard of somebody getting in a wheelchair because of a piece of chicken pot pie. I mean, was it extra salty? Did you take the salty one to the eye? And it, when I fell on my, my back, that's what, that's why it hurts me. Sonny Stone, what do you think about all this? I want to kick somebody's ass. I'm telling you, it's either going to be yours or it's going to be your little clones right there's ass going to get the ass kicked. You want some of me here, but look at him. Look at him. All right, buddy, tonight, main event. Yep, that's right. You kick my hind end, this is yours. You got it? You got it? All right. You got matches me, big man. You got a big one. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mickey Richards of the Beach Blondes taking on Spec Street Sonny Stone. We'll be back right after these messages. Wrestling fans, the final chapter with a combined weight of 650 pounds. This is Armageddon with Jim McCone. And from Motown, with a combined weight of 525 pounds, this is K Crush and Ice Pick. Yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, yeah. Open your eyes. It's time to realize. You're the gifted 
most talented surprise here. We got you all waiting for some action. Blowing up the spot, K crush, man, attraction. Better get up before I beat it, break it down. I'm kicking up dust and breaking rules in the town. You know that I can rock the bells at a party. I'm the top dog with the most elite party. American Pro Wrestling, Armageddon, James McCone going to take on K. Crush and Ice Pick. Chance Williams sitting in here calling the action, being joined by two people at the broadcast booth, Jeff G. Bailey and the legend himself, Wahoo McDaniels. Well, thank you, Chance. It's your pleasure to have me here. Well, I tell you what, Wahoo, I can't tell you what an honor and a privilege it is to sit here and call it the uh, great action here at American Pro Wrestling with you. Well, I'm glad to be here, and I hope I can help you out. Well, I tell you what, Armageddon, what a dangerous combination this is. Jeff G. Bailey, I tell you, James McCone comes out here with a new combination, it seems like, every week. And that lottery money's going to wear thin sooner or later. Well, I tell you what, he's got his hands full tonight with K. Crush and Ice Pick. These guys are great athletes, great wrestlers. However, if they concern themselves more with their wrestling as opposed to all that dancing and slapping hands with the fans, they'd probably have a much better win-loss record. Here we go with a tied collar and elbow with Ice Pick. And I don't know if Armageddon has names. I think they're just Armageddon together. Maybe one and two. Well, why don't you ask Jim McCombs next time you have him out here, Chance, and then maybe you'd be better prepared to do your job so all the fans could know which uh, one is which. Because he lied to me, just as simple as that. James hey. McCombs, he, he would lie to his mother, let alone me. Well, you got me there, but anyway, I'm out here for a reason, Chance, and that's because I have a special announcement I'm going to be making later in the program. Um, I want everybody to stay tuned so they can see exactly what I have in store. I've got some big plans for American Pro Wrestling, as my men are obviously the most dominant team in pro American Pro Wrestling, and I'm going to add a couple new things tonight and let the people see that uh, I am going to have the most powerful conglomerate in the history of the sport, and it's all going to start tonight. I tell you what, K Crush got things going his way inside the squared circle. Comes out rapping, singing to all the girls, but he can flat get it on inside that squared circle. Leapfrog by K Crush. Up and over goes Armageddon. Catches him and drops him on his back. Ooh. And I tell you what, Wahoo Daniels, what do you got to say about that? Well, he was up awful high, you know, and he, he took a good bump, hit his head on the mat, looks like. Uh, high flying's all right if <laughs> you don't get clipped. <laughs> High flying's all right till you get caught, is that that's correct? Right, that's right. Well, Wahoo McDaniel, you wouldn't know much about high flying because I don't think you ever flew a day in your career, and your career's long since been over with, so uh, I don't really think you have much to offer on that. I think you just need to sit there and let me call the match. Can personally. you not have respect for a legend in pro wrestling like Wahoo McDaniels? He's been in this business longer than you've been alive, my friend. Well, that's fairly obvious. Here we go, Irish whip across, ducks the clothesline. K. Crush thought he had him, and he just ducked right under it. Puts that boot right in Crush's ribs there. Probably knocked the breath out of him. He's a little slow getting to his feet. And here we go. One more time. Irish whip across. Reversed by K. Crush. Catches him with a belly to belly suplex. He needs to go for the cover. And we got James McCall up to break the count. I'm sure he was just trying to explain something to referee Jamie Tucker there that he had missed. Oh, well, I'm sure of that. Referee down for the count. And we only got a one count. I think he had him beat right there. He's been down for a while. Catches the legs. Trucks oh. it down in a face buster. And K. Crush, you're talking about an oh. athlete. This guy right He here. is a great athlete, but like I said earlier, he needs to concern himself more with wrestling and not all that singing and slapping hands with the fans. And I'm sure he'd go a lot further. He could really stand some good advice from me. I may have to talk to K. Crush and Ice Pick one day in the near future. K. Crush dropped him down in the face, uh, a brain buster. Tags into his partner, Ice Pick. Here we go, Irish whip across. Hard clothesline. Catches him with a closed fist, and Armageddon just cuts him off. And Wahoo McDaniels, I tell you, I know you're uh, here advertising your Wahoo McDaniels School of Pro Wrestling. You got a number for anybody to call? Uh, we had a number, but, you know, I got sick about six months ago, and I, and I gave up my part of the school. But they still have a school in Charlotte, you know, that I, uh, I don't think he's got my name on it, but 
Well, meanwhile, three counts took place in the ring, and Ice Pick's coming in, or K Crush is coming in with a chair to equalize this situation. Been a three-on-two situation the whole time, Jeff G. Bailey. Well, it was a great victory for Armageddon against a top tag team of K Crush and Ice Pick. This team show they've got a long ways to go here in American Pro Wrestling. Well, Armageddon, your victor's here. Ice Pick and K Crush, maybe another day. And fans, stay tuned to American Pro Wrestling. Let's take it to the interview set with a playboy, Buddy Rose Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by attorney Jeff G. Bailey. Tell us about it, Jeff. Well, you know, playboy, I've got some big plans going down here in American Pro Wrestling. You've already watched my man, Hitman Hunter and the Big Hammer take care of business. But you know, it's just not quite enough. I need more. I want more. I'm going to be the lord and master of American Pro Wrestling. And to make sure this happens, I've talked to my good friend, the Duke of New York, and we've come up with a little deal. And I want to introduce right now the newest man, my newest associate, my newest client. Come on out here, Mack Truck. That's right, Mack Truck. What a surprise, Jeff G. Bailey, getting Mack Truck away from the Duke of New York to add to already a massive stable of the Hammer and Hardcore Hitman Hunter. You guys step back, step back, get back. Get up in here with me, Mack. Let everybody take a look at what a real man looks like, a man that every woman wants and every man wants to be like. You see, the Big Mack Truck is the new force here in American Pro Wrestling, and I can promise you real soon that backdoor Sonny Stone's gonna be laying on his back more often than Jasmine St. Clair when the Big Mack Truck puts him down one, two, three for that TV title belt. There you go, you've heard it from Jeff G. Bailey and his massive entourage, Big Mack Truck, Hitman Hunter, and the Hammer. That's it, I'm the fabulous playboy for American Pro Wrestling. Hi, I'm Rhonda. Do you think you have what it takes to become a professional wrestler? Well, if you do, you need to get in touch with Chief Wahoo McDaniel School of Pro Wrestling. Just give us a call at 578-0565 and we can give you more information. Or you can write to Post Office Box 4626, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Come on out and be a part of the Chop Shop. of Chief J. Eagle, this is Johnny Eagle. I'll tell you what, you know, it's been a long time coming. I'm back in APW, but i tell you what, Rusty Riddle, you scum-sucking dog, I don't know where you've been hiding at, or what you've been telling some of your so-called friends back there in the dressing room. But I'll tell you something, you know, you're taking credit for what happened to J. Eagle, and the day is going to come. In the meantime, Rusty Riddle, you, my friend, you got a date with Destiny, you got a date with Johnny Eagle, and I'll tell you what, if nobody else don't get to you before that belt does, I'm going to take it from you, son. Well, Johnny, you don't just have Rusty Riddle. You have the young lady walking around ringside, and you know those young ladies are very, very devious. What do you think about it, Johnny Eagle? Hey, line them up. I'll take them down. But I'll tell you what, Rusty Riddle, I'll tell you one thing. You remember, we've been all over this great southeast United States. We've been around and around. And each time, I always was the one to get my hand raised in victory. And the same outcome is, you bring on your little, two little winches there, girl. Because I tell you what, two can play this game if it's got to be that way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. Weighing 225 pounds. Mickey Richards. White guy. With Shane Austin from Key West, Florida. This is your television champion, weighing 260 pounds, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Backstreet. That's right, everyone. Sunny Stone is in the house. Well, welcome back to 
of American Pro Wrestling. Chess Williams sitting in here with the one and only James McCone and the legend himself, Chief Wahoo May Daniels. And in the ring, we got supposedly was supposed to be the Nature Boy 2000s, lands up being his partner, Mickey Richards. And I want you to look at that eye patch. I think it's on the wrong eye. He's injured, Chance Williams. It's a horrible injury. It's a, it's a courageous effort by Shane Austin to be out here at all. Chance oh, yeah. Yeah. Shane Austin, let me tell you something. He took the coward's way out. Shane Austin is a courageous, courageous athlete to even be out here after what the tragedies this man's been through. He's, he's a brave man. TV champion. Hard clothesline on Mickey Richards. Sonny Stone, I tell you what, you're talking about an awesome, awesome wrestler. This guy right here can flat go. Well, he's picks him up with a big body slam off the far rope. Going to drop corkscrew elbow on him. He's got his favorite referee in there. I see that. This guy's crooked as they come. Come on, Another. Jamie Tucker's a fine official. One of the finest I've ever seen in pro wrestling. We got a close three. Mickey Richards was not prepared to wrestle this match. You got to keep that in mind. I mean, he thought Shane Austin was going to wrestle this match. So this is a this is a courageous effort on his part as well to come in here at the last minute and fill in. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You got to hate the tactics of Shane Austin, the beach blinds. But and there he goes tripping up Sonny Stone. But, you know, what are you talking about? I would be surprised if they'd done anything else. That's well, what I'm trying to say. Mickey what, Richards with a hard elbow with Sonny Stone. What trip are you looking up at the lights? The current yeah. television champion here in American Pro Wrestling. And I tell you what, Chief Wahoo Daniels, I know you miss being in the ring. Well, I miss being in the ring, but you know, you just wrestle so long, you can't wrestle forever. And, you know, I I'm tell you what, a close three count again on, and if Mickey Richards beats Sonny Stone, it's going to be the upset of the century, I can promise you that. <laughs> Why you say that, Mickey Richards is a Look fine Look at Shane Austin. He's, try, he's, he's about to slip out of his chair. He's just trying to keep his, his leverage so he won't fall out of that wheelchair. The poor man is injured. He obviously lost his equilibrium momentarily. Oh, come on. Shane Austin says the disgusted human being. And he sits here, says he's got chicken pot pie in his eye. Come on. He obviously ate some chicken pot pie from this arena here, the nasty food they serve around here. Welcome to Daniel. I'm sure, I'm sure you can understand a man being injured like this poor Shane Austin is. Well, it's the first time I've ever heard of a chicken pot pie knock the band out. It was quite a chicken pot pile. Let yeah, me tell you. It's a ridiculous statement, what it is. Me and Chief Wahoo McDowell is not falling for this one, I can promise you that. Richard's going to pick him up, right to the eyes. And these guys just cannot fight fair, I can promise he's, you that. He's Sonny trying, Stone in here trying to be fair and legal, and the beach blinds, please. they were steal money from their mother. He's trying to get even for the horrible injuries that occurred to Chicken Mickey Richards whipped Sonny Stone out of that corner. Sonny Stone in trouble, reversed by Sonny Stone. Oh. With a hard clothesline, and I mean, about took his head off. And Sonny Stone not releasing, not letting the man out of the corner. There's supposed to be a clean break here, Chance Williams. What happened with that? Well, you got to fight fire with fire sometimes. Went for the splash and just turned around and hit him with his back. The back splash right into the corner. Mickey Richards falls hard to the mat. And he's going to set him up for that back straight move, I believe he calls it, that Johnny Dollar did not submit to, I might add. Oh, the big splash. Splash on the back, and Richards in trouble. Here he goes into that back street move. Most men submit to this. I don't think Mickey Richards will. Oh, uh, he'll give it up in a heartbeat. And look look at behind. That. Shane Austin with a hard clothesline to the back of the head of Sonny Stone. Look the at referee that. calling for the bell. What a and Shane Austin man. just stopping a mud hole in Sonny Stone. I tell you this, the kids, you got to watch this. This is just great courage on the part of Shane Austin rising up out of his wheelchair. A miraculous recovery if ever there was one. And, and look at here, Chief Jay Eagle. Chief Pegleg in the ring. Look at him. Chief Jay Eagle in with his cane. I tell you, what had a tear of the Achilles tendon and the beach blinds have took a hike uh, here in American pro wrestling and, and who calls that chance Williams <laughs> well I'll tell you one thing the revenge on our side because Sonny Stone is still the current television champion here in American pro wrestling but a courageous effort by Shane Austin and by Mickey Richards let's applaud the beach blondes yeah the beach blondes made it, they make me want to throw up but that's another story Sonny Stone and Chief Jay Eagle left in the ring while the beach blondes are running their mouth as usual Let's just get out of this situation and go to a commercial break. We'll be back right after this commercial timeout. What an hour of pro wrestling we've had right here in American Pro Wrestling. Chance Williams and James McCone, along with the legendary Chief Wahoo McDaniels. And I tell you what, Chief, you got to respect these guys' ability here in American Pro Wrestling. Yeah, there's a lot of good athletes here. They're evenly matched, and it doesn't take much to change the tide of battle sometimes. Well, I got to tell you, you it's been a... That over there, shouldn't he? 
Yeah, James McCone, he's always got something bad to say about everybody. But I want to tell you, it's been a pleasure to work with you this week on television. James McCone, I know you're never a loss for words. What do you got to say about this highway robbery, the uh, Beach Blondes and this con they're doing you're right, with the, a chicken the pot pie? The Beach Blondes were robbed. They should have had the TV title right there. And Miami and Armageddon next week, right here on this program, will have those APW Tag Team titles. We've not been beat yet. It's not going to happen next week. Right here, we get the belts. You know what gets me about you, James McCone? The only thing you want to talk about is you, 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 James McCone. Nothing better to talk about than I can We're James see. McCone and Chief Wahoo McDaniels. I'm Chess Williams. We'll see you next week on American Pro Wrestling.